Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Maria Rachinska and I'm a professional watercolor artist and online instructor. I started my YouTube channel in 2016 and that's when I started teaching how to paint with watercolors. But I really got serious about it when I created my patron school. So I have been on Patreon now since 2017. In the same year, I also created another school on Teachable with uh, more in-depth classes, classes where I talk while painting. And then in 2020, I have created my third online school, which is marinachinska.com. So today, patron and the school at marinachinska.com are my main two schools where I teach how to paint with watercolors. Now, what's the difference between patron and marinachinska.com online school? On patron, I share weekly voiceover tutorials. What does that mean? I first record myself painting and then I will add a voiceover. So I'll edit the video and then I will start talking uh, about what I am doing in the video. So that's a voiceover tutorial and everything is in real time, nothing is uh, cut out so you see everything in full length. But then in 2022, which is now, uh, I started also adding classes to Patreon. So once a month, I started adding one real-time in-depth class to Patreon, and I call these Golden Fridays. So on the first Friday of each month, I share a class. So these classes and courses are much longer. What happens is that I talk while I'm painting. I put my thoughts out there, like what am I going to do next? Why am I doing it this way? Why do I prefer this brush over this brush for this little detail, for example? And it's in similar format to those classes that are in depth uh, at mariachinska.com. So I am talking while I am painting. Why such transition? Because after years of teaching, I realized that I teach better this way and my students are way more successful when they actually take these classes uh, where I am talking while painting. Voiceover tutorials will always be available here, but everything I'm recording right now today is just in-depth, real-time classes. I have lots of already prepared voiceover tutorials but sometime at the end of next year, uh, everything you see, like the new content added, it will be just classes. So to summarize everything, on Patreon, I offer right now weekly voiceover tutorials. And then on the first Friday of each month, there is a class. I also share updates, uh, whatever I'm working on and watercolor tips. So very often I come up with a new idea, a solution to something, a technique that works better. Updates, watercolor tips, painting challenges, all this is available under $3 tier. But then if you want to have access to voiceover tutorials, uh, all the past videos, I have a library of over 200 real-time videos. There's no voiceovers. These are videos that I recorded uh, prior to 2018, I believe. Uh, so everything prior to that is just real-time videos. After that, that's when I started adding voiceover tutorials. So we have over 200 real-time videos and then we have over 100 voiceover tutorials and once a month I share one in-depth class and I call these Golden Fridays on Patreon. So to have access to these voiceover tutorials, to have access to these more in-depth classes, everything is available under $9 tier. The $20 tier was created for those that wanted to give extra more. What about mariadachinska.com online school? So at this point, I have uh, 100 classes. That's because some of the courses contain classes within classes. So it's all together about like 100 of classes, all in depth, uh, very detailed. I talk while I'm painting. There is a subscription available too. It's $20 per month. Uh, but if you're a current patron, you can use 20% off promo code. So all my patrons, uh, active students, always can get 20% off of any class. I do add classes about once a month there. So usually it's about one class per month in at the school, marinachinska.com.
So it's outside of Patreon. For those of you that don't want to be on Patreon, maybe, or do you just want to buy an individual class? And then uh, there's an option to subscribe to All You Can Paint, which is a way better deal than buying an individual class. Patreon and MariaTinska.com are separate. Um, so you have a choice to be here or there. So now let's talk about all other perks that are out there on Patreon. So on the Patreon, we have a community section, right? So this is where you can share your own work. And uh, lots of our members will give you a feedback, will comment back on it. And whenever, and pretty much 99% of the time, I get a notification from Patreon that there is a new post. I will go there and I will always provide my feedback as much as I can. Uh, and then I do the same thing in my mariachinska.com online school. I also give a feedback there. So I try to stay in touch with my students. I try to give as much support as I can. And then what else we have is Art Corner community. So this is another thing. I have created uh, a site which is very similar to Facebook. It feels like Facebook, but it's not Facebook. It's like being in a closed Facebook group outside of Facebook. That's what Art Corner is. So as long as you are my active student on Patreon or you are a student at marinachinska.com online school, then you have access to this community. Now, why this community? It's because neither on Patreon or at marinachinska.com online school, you can chat with each other. So you can send private messages. Uh, you can't just open like a chat and start talking about this and that. And then the posts just disappear like on Patreon trend they just get very deep so if you're looking for your post from like two months ago there's no way you can find it on patreon that's why i invite you to join art corner our community private community uh, which is outside of patreon but as long as you're a student uh, in one of my schools you have access to it you just have to request to join and then you can post and share your work you can uh, share some watercolor tips ideas uh, the only thing i ask you is to be respectful to other members and also please only share paintings after following my classes or tutorials or something you painted on your own uh, so please don't share paintings after following another teacher's class or tutorial or some YouTube video it just doesn't belong in this space because it's all closed in for students uh, from my schools and that's all we're gonna share here and I also do announcements there once in a while announcements that I can't share for example on patreon and then I think the best part is just that you can actually communicate with each other you can go to uh, someone's profile and then click uh, the chat option there uh, you can uh, follow each other if you're interested in purchasing my brushes they are available in my Etsy shop. So I have uh, three lines. So I have golden one, golden two, and then sunburnt line. Sunburnt line is my newest line of brushes. Those brushes are designed by me with Da Vinci brushes in Germany. And also they are handmade by Da Vinci in Germany. So they are a little more pricey, but they are worth it because they're excellent quality. And all my brushes, Songbird, Golden One, Golden Two are vegan and synthetic, so they're cruelty free and they're very good quality. And Golden One and Golden Two, those two series of brushes have taken me the longest to create. I was working with a company based in England and I was polishing those brushes to the perfection just so they have a nice points and the difference is that golden one is a stiffer brush and golden two are softer brushes to mimic real squirrel hair and uh, they are available as a round eight and then flat three quarter and then golden one the stiffer brush is round eight brush now i will have eventually smaller sizes available too but i will create a different line and it will be made with da vinci artist brushes in germany so right now I'm in the middle of developing my rigor brushes. Those are going to be part of the Songbird series. And right now the Songbird series is just the quill brushes. Uh, I have a long quill uh, two, size two, size four, and then I have a regular quill size two. And then I'll have an addition of two rigor brushes, uh, excellent for lifting colors, but also creating fine lines 
details. They are longer rigor brushes. Uh, they are just customized uh, just the way I wanted them to look, to feel, uh, to the fibers. Like everything was chosen by me, but with the help of Da Vinci, we designed these brushes together. Now, anytime you have a question, please always message me. Uh, you can directly message me via Patreon. You can also uh, comment under the posts. And then if you're at marietachinska.com online school, you can also comment under the videos, the lectures, and there's an option to contact me too. There's my email address. How to search for real-time videos, voiceover tutorials, and classes on Patreon, plus watercolor tips, updates, anything I've posted in the past. I have created an index. This index is available via my website, mariamorjane.com. The link is under my profile here, so you can see it there. That's the index I have created, and that's the best way to search for anything you're looking for on Patreon because Patreon does not have that index. They do have like a search box, but it's impossible to find something. So I encourage you to use that index whenever you need to find something specific or you're looking for something new to paint. When you scroll down, you will see that there's pictures of different paintings, mostly on my YouTube channel. So as a patron, you can download a sketch and a reference image. And then below that, you will find watercolor tips. So anything I've shared, uh, let's say about lifting, uh, what ratios between water and paint I use, everything is down there. So please use this index because it's so much easier. I use this index every day whenever I need to refer to an earlier class or tutorial. And now I'll cover quickly about those levels that you see on Patreon. We have level one, we have level two, three, four, five. So a few years ago, I have had these requests to somehow categorize these voiceover tutorials, the older real-time videos. And I thought if I do level one, level two, that would be more like beginner-ish, someone that's new to watercolors uh, or has a little bit of experience. And then level three would be more intermediate. Uh, the same with level four. And then level five would be for advanced. Uh, but to be honest, I hope you're not going to limit yourself to those levels because when I first started painting with watercolors, I didn't limit myself to subject. I didn't limit myself to anything. If I wanted to paint water, I painted water. If I wanted to paint a dog, I painted a dog. You can paint anything you want. It's just a matter of how you're tackling it, how it's going to turn out today at this stage of your learning curve. And my job is to teach you how to paint, um, so to learn these techniques, to become a master at wet on wet and lifting colors. In just a moment, I'm going to pan out with a camera so you can see a little bit of my studio, but I want you to know I didn't start like this. Uh, a few years ago, we lived in a different place. We lived in a small apartment, and about uh, three years ago, I also moved uh, to the Orange County area, but it was a different place, and I had this one small bedroom area, which was very dark. This is like my dream place. I finally moved here, and my husband sacrificed our master bedroom so I could have this for myself. And thank Thank you so much for everything please let me know anytime you have a question because i'm always here on the side this is my main desk where i sketch so this is where i prepare all my sketches and then behind me there are some paintings hanging down this is where i keep some of the papers i have a printer there for prints and then this is the main cabinet with all my art supplies i'll tell you honestly um i wish it was much smaller because uh, whenever i will travel uh, again i will have a hard time uh parting from this and uh, when I was living in this small apartment uh, in Santa Monica a long time ago, I had this small den area and everything basically fit in like one box uh, if I really worked hard to push it in there. And it was just much easier than having all these uh, boxes and things. And I have lots of brushes because I'm selling brushes. This is what inspires me daily. This is why I have these paintings out here because I just need to see like some of my favorite paintings and that's what kind of like gives me that inspiration basically and then i have so many paintings just laying around here papers uh scissors for packing things and just more pads and papers watercolors i try to be really organized because uh, that's just something that helps me also uh to stay motivated this is my table 
This is uh, where I sit when I'm recording classes and do the voiceover tutorials. So it's a glass top table and I highly recommend it. Uh, it's just so much easier than having like a desk like that one over there. And then I have these cards. I have a couple cards like this. Uh, so it's easier to kind of push things around when you have like those art supplies and then another inspirational area where I keep my uh, some of the paintings I did. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But this is where I spend most of my time uh, responding to messages, comments, and I write my posts and uh, edit classes. And then I have the view outside and I can open the doors. So this is why this is like my dream studio because I have all this light coming in.